An Amazon EC2 instance can be used for many purposes. It can also be used as a server to host websites. It's basically a VPS, but needs extra configuration to be able to act as a web server due to Amazon Web Services architecture. I'm going to show you how to launch an Amazon EC2 instance that can later configured with VirtualMin to host your websites. I'm going to assume you already have an Amazon Web Services account. If you don't, please go ahead and create an account. It's free to join. Registration process will include phone verification and payment method verification. It's also a good idea to get familiar with EC2 pricing structure before you begin. Once you've logged into your account, navigate to EC2 from the services menu on the top. Region will be selected as Northern Virginia by default. Change it as per your preference. I'm going to use Northern California for this tutorial. When in your desired location, Click launch instance button to start the process. You'll be presented with a list of available Amazon machine images. AMI you select here will be the operating system of your EC2 instance. Scroll down and select Ubuntu if you're following my tutorials to build your server. Ubuntu 16.04 is the latest version of Ubuntu supported by VirtualMin at the time of recording this video. This might change in the future. Refer to the tutorial link in the description to find out which version of Ubuntu currently supported and create your instance accordingly. Next step is to select an instance type. T2 Micro is free tier eligible. But it has poor performance. Amazon itself doesn't recommend it for production environment. I recommend T2 Small for low traffic websites. Select the instance type you want from the list and click configure instance details. You can leave most options here as default. One setting you must change is enable termination protection. It disables the terminate button from the console until you disable termination protection. And it's a good idea to set shutdown behavior to stop as well. Next step is adding storage to your instance. Charges for storage isn't covered on EC2 pricing. You'll be charged a separate fee for storage you add here. However, free tier includes 30 GB of free storage. And it's a good starting point. You can always add more storage volumes later. It's safe to ignore this section. But I usually create a name tag with the main domain I'm planning to host. This is great for identification purposes. Next step is probably the most important part of the launching process. You get to create your EC2 security group here. Security group controls how your EC2 instance communicate with the world. You can allow or block access to your instance using security groups. Make sure create a new security group is selected and give it a friendly name. I'll call it virtualmin. Type a little description may be describing which ports are allowed. Talking about ports, you'll need port 22, 80, 400, and 43 and 10,000 open for this EC2 instance to serve as a web server. Virtualmin and services it install use few other ports. All of them are listed on list of Virtualmin ports topic. You can review and add them as you need. Link to the topic is in the description. I'll only add four ports mentioned earlier.
HTTP allows connections on port 80. This is where users connect to your website. Set the source to anywhere. HTTPS allows connections on port 443. This is the default port for SSL connections. Set the source to anywhere. Custom TCP. Type 10000 on the port range field. This is where you connect to virtual main control panel. This port doesn't have to be open to public traffic. So you can type your IP address in source field to only allow connections from your IP. You must have a static IP address for that. Or you'll be locked out when your IP address changes. Nothing much to say here. Review all the options you selected so far and click launch. Passwords are disabled on EC2 instances by default. Authentication between you and EC2 instance will be done using a SSH key pair. A pop-up will appear asking you to select an existing key pair or create a new one. If this is your first time creating an EC2 instance, you probably won't have a key pair. So create a new one. You'll be able to launch the instance after downloading the key file. Keep the key file safe as you'll need it to log into your server. That concludes the instructions to launch an Amazon EC2 instance. It'll take a minute or two for your instance to be available. I'll see you in next video.